You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we receive from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Okay, Dr. Shapiro, here's a question about mathematical miracles in the Quran. So the person is saying um, that he's heard you mention the word day um, in the Quran and that it's uh, referenced 360 times, six, th 65 times in the Quran. So he's saying, how did you get that figure? Did you use uh, things like the Day of Judgment to get one day? Or, you know, how did you come up with that figure of 365? Yeah, well, I didn't come up with the figure to begin with. Um, it, this uh, is a figure that comes out of the concordance of the Quran prepared by Muhammad Fad Abdul Waqi uh, in the early 20th uh, century. It lists all of the words of the Quran and the number of times they occur in the Quran. So one would see at a glance that the listing of Yawm uh, in Arabic uh, or Al Yawm with the definite article together come up to 365. But that number does not include uh, combination words where um, words are written together. Uh, so uh, in English, uh, that day, Yawma Idhin will be written as two words, but in Arabic it's written as one. So that's not included in the 365. Okay. It's only when the word day stands by itself that, that this is counted and it turns out to be 365. Mm -hmm. So what's the significance of that uh, number? Mm, well, uh, obviously there are 365 days in the solar year and God created both the sun and the moon, whereas the uh, lunar calendar is significant to Muslims for religious observances. Uh, the solar calendar is significant to all people, Muslims and others, because that's how we get our four seasons. Um, the the uh, chances of opening up a book and, and seeing that this book contains the word 365 65 times exactly is remote, though it could possibly occur by chance. But now when we add this to other such apparent coincidences, we see that this is all uh, part of a, a, a definite plan, and we're seeing here the plan of God, which means that the Quran is the Word of God. Do you think God did this on, on purpose then, it included these uh, numerical miracles? Uh, yes, it would, it's hard to deny that this is purposeful. For example, we see other such uh, apparent coincidences. Uh, man is mentioned in the Quran 24 times, woman also 24 times. And the Quran says that Jesus and uh, Adam are similar in the sight of God. Well, the name Jesus occurs uh, 25 times, the name Adam occurs 25 times as well. We always contrast angels and demons, uh, malaika and shaitan in Arabic. Uh, the word for angel occurs uh, 68 times and the word for devil also 68 times uh, and so there's a definite contrast there we contrast this life and the life hereafter it turns out that dunya for this life occurs 115 times and the word for the life hereafter akhira occurs also 115 times now for the prophet muhammad peace be upon him to have authored a book like this or any human being at the time uh, seems rather uh, remote uh, in the case of the prophet muhammad we know from his history that he went about preaching in a wide variety of circumstances, questions would be put to him and he would give the answer to the question on the spot. And uh, his answers then become part of the Quran and various situations would occur. There would be love, there would be war there would, and so on. And he would be commenting on all of these situations. All of those comments then become part of the Quranic text. Uh, how, how would he have kept track how many times he mentioned man or woman or Jesus or Adam or uh, angel or demon or this life or the life hereafter? Mm -hmm. So it must have come from God then is what it you're saying. It seems that this is very good evidence that the Quran is a divine revelation given to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, for our guidance. All right, thank you for your time, Dr. Shabir Ali. You're welcome. That's all the time we have. We'd like you to visit our website, QuranSpeaks.com. Check out our YouTube channel as well, youtube.com slash QuranSpeaks. I'm Safiya Ali. For all of us here at Let the Quran Speak, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.